Well, there it is. Dual exhaust is installed. Uh, we're going to get the sensors in, get the other gauge installed into the airplane, and then we'll do an initial run up and see what we get. Exciting. So, dual exhaust is in, and here's our initial numbers. It's showing that we have the left bank is basically running a little bit lean while the right bank is running a little bit rich. Oh, look at that. Maybe if I turn the fuel on. Ha ha! Shut the fuel off so I was having a little fuel dribble. So before we were having that average scenario where we were getting a single readout for both sides and this is showing that basically one was lean, one was rich, and as a result, we were getting that perfect scenario. But now we're actually able to see that the left bank of my engine was actually running lean, the right was running rich, and I was monitoring the right side for EGTs and basing everything off of that. So my left side EGTs were actually probably much higher than what I was seeing with my single EGT probe. Now, I have installed four EGTs. So we should be able to monitor each cylinder individually. Well, that's a good bit of data right there. So now I get to play with my right side to try and bring this in uh, a little bit leaner. Uh, so as you can see, we actually have two meters in now, um, so we have a split exhaust that is allowing us to monitor uh, each carburetor individually. And so we're seeing that even though each carburetor was uh, basically adjusted identically to each other as per the suggestion, even though I'm, I'm well outside of the uh, being suggested jetting and, and adjustments and everything, everything is always assumed to make equal adjustments to both sides, but we can see that we're actually running about a point rich on the right relative to the left. Uh, so both of them are rich. Excuse me, we're gonna start from wide open throttle and work our way backwards just like you would do with any motorcycle. So once we're able to get a uh, decent oil temperature and we can make an actual uh, full power run up, what we'll do is we'll full power run up, we'll let it stabilize and we'll take note of what our readings look like on both sides. Um, once we get those readings on both sides, we'll then pull power to about mid-range, and we'll do the same thing. We'll let it stabilize, and then we'll get our readings again, and then we'll finally pull back out to basically idle about where we're sitting now, and we'll make one more uh, reading as we stabilize. We have 123 degrees on oil, 52 PSI on our oil pressure. CHTs are at 144, and EGTs are all in the green. All right, so. All right, so we are at 3,200 RPMs. We have right bank at 10.7 to 10.8, left bank at 11.5, 11.6. And that is remaining stable. All right, now we're gonna bring up RPM. There's 4,000 RPM. Left bank is 12.7, 12.8. Right bank is 12.8, 12.9. That's not bad. There's 4,500. Right bank is 13.6 to 13.8. Left bank is 12.7, 12.8. The left bank is now good, right bank is running lean. And then if we go full power, brakes aren't gonna hold us, but we're seeing 10.7 on the left bank and 13.0 on the right bank. 
5 to 10.7 on the left bank, 13.1, 13.0 on the right bank. And we're seeing 5,200 RPM. All right, and we're gonna pull power out. And we're gonna come back down to 4,500. We're seeing 13.8 to 14.0 on the right, 12.7 to 13 on the left. Left is good. There's 3,800. We're seeing 12.3 on the right bank. We're seeing 12.0, 12.2 on the left bank. And there's 2,200. We are seeing 10.6, 10.7 on the right bank. And we are seeing 11.8 to 12.0 on the left bank. Very interesting. So we are actually having a left bank that runs perfectly and a right bank that we're having all kinds of really weird nonsense going on with. All right. Well, there you go. That's what a dual exhaust sounds like on a Rotax 912. I think it sounds good. Get it on. I got it running. Uh, I got the carb balanced and everything before I actually started taking readings. And it looks like the banks are about a full point off, uh, which is pretty interesting to see that we have one running on the rich side, one running on the lean side, which would have given us that average of basically a perfect scenario. So kind of interesting to see, uh, but it, it was kind of known as well, as I've said before, the idea of being able to assume um, some standard setting is going to be perfect for all engines. It's just, it's ridiculous. Uh, so thank you guys for following along on this little adventure. Uh, those of you that have been asking me a lot of questions, I really appreciate some of you diving into this and doing this on your planes as well. I would love a little bit more information uh, from you guys. And then for those of you that are interested but haven't really dived down into this, uh, overall this dual exhaust system that I built is not going to be permanent on my airplane. Um, I'm using this as a means to collect data and actually tune the engine, and this will be coming off um, going into my little tuning kit for the, uh, for the airplane along with the indicators and everything. So if some of you are interested in having your engines tuned, um, please reach out to us. I will start probably the next few months, um, start setting the time slots aside for people here at Stead um, and the other local airports that I can fly to. Um, and we can spend some time tuning your guys' engines and seeing how it goes. Uh, so yeah, thank you again for sticking along and playing around with uh, your airplanes and shooting me some data. Uh, keep on watching.